Welcome in once again, guys. We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys already know. Hey, here we have Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge. A couple of buyouts going on. We want to cover that today. But before we do, wow, we got an announcement here, guys. We're getting these two cards, Sky Striker Ace Ray and Sky Striker Ace Rose, quarter century secret rare alternate arts alternate arts guys wow i know there's a lot of people excited shout out to alex man he's that sky striker dude you know and, and just so many other people um man just waiting for these look at that look at that alternate art quarter century secret rares coming in battles of legend terminal revenge wow beautiful those sky striker cards must look beautiful we already have pre-sales up um we're gonna discuss those prices in a bit but just wanted to make sure you guys were aware um you know of this situation moving on guys we have dragon master mahia a lot of people are really disappointed on the fact that this is only a quarter century secret rare here we see the pre-sale six hundos guys and there's already I mean, hey i guess i guess billy bob bought, bought early and he's up you know what i mean there's only four in the market two listings of course this is the pre-sales and look chartless because we're in the pre-sale stage and already we have one person coming in at four hundos i mean a lot of people really were expecting to get access to this card um the card is beautiful i will not lie one of the best artworks ever look at that look at that i mean you, you can't man man there's a man why why they wouldn't put this as a secret rare in the set why why would you limit yourself only as a quarter century secret it's good intentions we get it the card is beautiful the card is special man let's just throw it out there as a qcsr so that you know the card is just harder to get and and people want it and and it's like contradictory man we, we need the masses to have this card yeah could the secret be worth money because the demand is too great and the supply is low maybe even short printed sure but give us that you know more readily available version now a lot of people will stay away from this card because it's going to be in the hundos in the hundos man and a lot of people would have wanted access to this card a lot of people in the comment section man jay you know this card i really wanted it you know i needed it and this and that and now you know people are going to have to look in the sidelines for the most part because you know not everyone's going to be able of course these are pre-sale prices but still it'll probably be worth a couple of hundo you know as the max rarity version the only version single prick qcsr man that's unfortunate and who knows man we don't have any reprint product any reprint products coming you know soon and definitely not before that so um it's disappointing that this card will be single print quarter quarter century secret i mean wh why i i'm with the people in the comment section i'm the man of the people man and i don't understand why we didn't get a more readily available version of this card i don't know i, I don't know what their thought process was was on that one man honestly but hey it is what it is man it is up what it is unfortunately um you know we have sky striker ace rose alternate art here i mean look don't forget there is a starlight guys but <clears throat> excuse me guys here we have the alternate art again pre-sales no sales as of yet you have one here a place up there then gone around 175 to 200 for alternate art ray qcsr coming a lot of people are going to want this version don't forget you do have a starlight that is getting floored and shall continue to do so this card was three hundos last year a year later is 50 percent off half you know ha half off discount right there 24 listings i mean and this is when you would want to buy you know this card 50 percent down but now i would wait a little bit because we're getting an alternate art qcsr we get it this is the technical max rarity but a lot of people like alternate arts especially in that quarter century secret so we'll see how it pans out but uh yeah i mean even though it's pre-sales right now the qcsr is worth more than the starlight man that's messed up that's messed up um these cards are extreme, extremely hard to get and to pull um <clears throat> excuse me and with the sky striker new sky striker support even though the the alternate art is coming out man this is a starlight rare man people sometimes forget man people sometimes forget but it is what it is we'll see what happens on the line for that one we also got ray ray actually got a quarter century secret alternate art i'm so surprised i mean all the other versions are pretty cheap ray is really really accessible <clears throat> excuse me guys as we can see the ot's they're free essentially man in the teens um super low in price look let's start with the alternate art quarter century secret look at this card 
three fifties, man. Insane. One got sold at 150, and then guys, wow, insane. Probably the same buyer that bought up. Um, what was it? The um, Mahi at 399s. Who knows? But look, hey, this is alternate art ray. You play Sky Strikers, you need your rays. Of course, you have the OTs, but these OTs getting floored, man. Used to be 1920s, now 14s here. Who knows? Single digi rays. I mean, we'll see, but <clears throat> excuse me, for some reason. People don't like this card. Just the quality control, how it looks. Like, it's dark. I don't know. But it's OT, man. It's OT. Not all OTS Ultimate Rares are the same, per se. Some are better quality than others. Some are better, just look better as OTs than others. But this is still an Ultimate Rare. Um, and uh, to me, max rarity. I don't care about price. I don't care about nothing. But, hey, most of the market, most of the people, they're going to want the alternate art rays. Very, very interesting that we're getting these cards inside um this uh set and uh yeah yesterday at the time of recording i did not have access to the full list so we're just going to briefly discuss this before discussing a couple of buyouts look four dollars and 49 cents per pack after tax what like 460 475 five dollars man so nah we, we I, I don't buy single packs i don't know who does maybe a couple of you know maybe feed that itch you know that addiction but yeah here we have the full set review now and uh yeah what do we have here Okay, we have Gen X cards. Interesting. We have the Ice Barriers. Obviously, a lot of people saw it in the comment section. Jay, I'm excited, man. The Ice Barrier cards. So we'll see Shining Star Dragon. So is that a secret rare? Does that say secret? Wing Karibo level 6. That card looks nice, man. And this Shining Star, I want this card. Love the artwork. I really love the artwork of this card. I think I read the effect on the channel discussing that card, but I don't even care about that. I just care about... Does that say Tuner? Man shiny star dragon i like this one especially as a secret rare then you have the infernoid cards and the spirit uh you know uh ritual beast cards uh toy soldiers yo toy cards don't forget about that um what else do we have here so many cards coming in here oil man oil yeah that's one of my favorite cards love the artwork i need that card man i like it secret rare i like it i like it um, your, your boy's happy your boy's happy yo look at that artwork bro that ice barrier trap I don't know why. As of late, I've just come to appreciate Yu-Gi-Oh's artwork. I mean, just just look at that. I mean, look look at that artwork. It's like this dude on the clouds or something about to jump off. Man, I, I like it. <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. So yeah, I like and Ebon Sun. Ooh, man, we saw the picture yesterday. Can't wait to get that man. My wallet, man. That was my wallet. I think it disappeared, man. Um, but um, yeah. What else do we have here? So yeah, Synchro Creed. I like it. I like it. This is very interesting. Very, very interesting. What else? We have the second part down here. Let's see. So we have uh what else? What else? Arch fiends, okay. A phantom of you bell, bro. Look at that. 20 with the QCSR as well and the secret. A lot of people are going to be wanting this. Uh guard dargas and ultra. Okay, substitute secret. Yeah, we saw the pictures of these of these as well. So um what else is here? Infernoid reprints, that's really good. Uh let's see, Gen X cards. Um, what else? Diviner as an Ultra and a QCSR. Wow. So this is getting, yeah, Ultra QCSR and OTs coming soon. So if you needed this card, I guess you'll be able to get it soon. But uh, yeah, man, man I mean, yeah. oh, we have the Sprite cards. Okay. Sprite Red, Divine Carnate. Okay, I like it. I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We discussed these yesterday's Grand Gwano. It's a Secret Rare. Um, Let's see. Secret Rare, Divine Carnate. That should have been an Ultra. That should have been an Ultra, man, honestly. I don't know why they did they, they wait let me see where's that fusion where's the fusion is it in the other page let me see yeah this this should have been the secret rare this should have been the secret rare um um this card right here mary jade instead of uh you know this back here but oh well we have ib what else what else man a lot of car oh man can't wait for that snatch man yeah i like it i like it again that's the thing guys literally there's no reason to buy this set honestly in my humble opinion like, I wouldn't be buying, like, yo, I need to get a box of Terminal Revenge because I want to pull this. Man, don't fall for that. Man, honestly, I'm just being honest. I'm calling it how I did. You buy singles. You buy singles. Let the big stores, let let the, the, the they get it at distro prices. They don't mind cracking boxes open. Let them do that. You get what you need. You buy the singles. There's a couple of great singles in here that you're going to want to get access to, for sure, for sure. But then everything else, you know, a lot of filler cards, you know what I mean? A lot of random I mean cards oh birdman ultra i want this oh and it got the alternate art and the regular nice man i need that alternate art that's one that i'm gonna be looking for a 
uh, for Tangle Plant. I need that card. And then down here, we got what? Oh, what is that? The Golden Sword Soul? Is that what it says? Man, I'm blind. Man, um, that's another Sword Soul card? What am I looking at? We got Fusion Secret. Ooh, man. Man, man, man. man it says unconfirmed, but we know now. We know now that we're getting the alternate arts. And then the one and only, man, singled out here. We, we should have had a secret tag right there. Right there. You see this tag? It should have been like this. Where is it? Where is it? Look, like this. A secret in the 25th for poor Mahia. And we're going to have to wait on that one, unfortunately, guys. Shout out to... The, look, look at these comments, man. Look at that. That's why I like this channel. Positivity. Every Yu-Gi-Oh! channel is negative and everyone has a victim complex. Shout out to Live for Shiny Cards or Live for Shiny Cards. That's what we do here. Positively impacting people's lives. That's what we go for. Positive vibes. Positive energy. Always smiling. Just giving that back to you guys because you guys are awesome and amazing. Thank you for this comment. I'm glad to hear that. And uh, look at that. I stay watching, listening to Fresh Off the Press. I'm right there. I'm with my purchase and sales in J. We Trust. A big trust right there. Man, there was another comment, man. Where is it? Where is it? Man, a very, very special one. Where is it? Right, where is it? Look at that. Look at that. And let me just show you guys here real quick because this one's important. Uh, right here. Let me just show. I need to show you guys this. Look at this comment right here, man. This, this is my guy right here. Look at that. Let me just take this away, guys. Just a second real quick. Look at this comment, guys. Look at this. You guys can't see it right there i think so so thanks for the whatnot credit jay i was able to snag three 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 copies of nightmare throne after phantom of you bell was shown for under 30s guys for under 30s under 30s look at that you can still get nightmare throne over here for 30 dollars. this guy has what four available you get a 15 dollar off yo if you're watching right now and you haven't clicked the link in the description down below I don't know what else to say. Look at that. One click gets you $15 off. You can use multiple phones, man. Putting it out there. Multiple phone numbers. You come in and get all four of these. That's four phone numbers. Hey, or, you know, hey, whoever. You guys, if it's not one person, then four of you guys, hopefully, take advantage of the deal. $15 off. I call it how I see it. Look at that. This card right now is $55. It's going parabolic on TCG Player. $55, ones and twos. Eventually, it's a 60 Billy card, 34 listings, four pages only. You can get this essentially at a 2x down, 50%, 40, 50% off right now if you take advantage of the code. You get 15 Billies off, bro. You can't make this stuff up. I'm calling it how it is. I'm calling it how it is. Take advantage of this, please, please. I'm giving you guys a deal. Nightmare Throne is the, the, the card right now, the best-selling card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Phantom of Ubel just around the corner. Everyone's going crazy for this card. There's no way that four of you guys are not going to come in here at least and take advantage of this at $30 after your code. Easy peasy. I could, I could just buy this myself. Ran, I'm, bro, give the deals to the community right there. $15 off, man. I don't know how else to say it. And then there's way, there's more, you know, cards. Obviously, you have the Rarity Collection too, and you can search for other Nightmare Thrones to see if you can get some deals. But I don't know what else to say, man. I'm calling it how it is right there, man. We always give the deals. And as you guys can see, shout out. Where's my guy? Where's my guy? The picture disappeared, man. Where's my guy, man? Where is he? And right here, Aaron. So again, this was Aaron. Look at that. Yeah, I closed it. Aaron took advantage of this. Look, under 30. Guys, guys, thank you, Aaron, for, for you know, taking action. You deserve it. I get it. Most of us, you know, we're lazy. We do it. It's for your benefit. You can pick up great deals over there and whatnot. You get $15 off just like Aaron right there. That's my guy, bro. I I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Take advantage of that, guys. Take advantage of that for sure. Oh, there's there's the comment, man. I thought there's the comment, man. My guy, Aaron. Oh, uh, man. And again, guys, first link in the description down below. Come get your investment guide. A five-minute read. There you go. Five-minute read. Hey, hey, educate yourself. That's the first step in your investment journey right there free right there first link in the description down below and we got giveaways guys giveaways shout out send the giveaways from the discord the 10 winners shout out to andrew um you know sending those cards out and those should be on their way and uh, in the discord ma mail section you can see when people receive them and they post them there just as evidence that we do send these cards out so again at 5k we're at 4.95k destroy that like and subscribe button so you can participate in our giveaway look you have uh what Fenrir's, Lubelli's, and Winter Cherries, bro. Ulti's, bro. Let's go, guys. Guys, easy money for our members. You guys already know. Look at that. Over $100 for 
right here. You can't make this stuff up. Get yourself a membership. See it as a lottery ticket, man. Three dollars in, you get access to, you know, participating right there. Join the movement. That's super cheap, man. My humble opinion. Then the Discord giveaway. We're at 421. I'm super excited. And once we reach 500, we're giving away this QCSR, this Ash, and the rest of these card pieces of cardboard. Shout out to Andrew as always for those hookups these straw right there the like and subscribe button ring that bell i would gladly appreciate it as we continue to crack that 5k barrier just around the corner i can smell it man i can smell it your boy is super excited if you want to be in the discord guys right there one click gets you in so you can participate in our discord giveaway and so you can participate in the community giveaway as well make sure you guys look into that guys guys i know this content is official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only we have ritual beast tamer elder single print from the secret forces look this card it says here look at that if we go to the yearly this card was shackles this card was shackles no one cared no one cared about ritual beast okay we had the first announcement oh it's getting support went up for four billies okay from shackles of billies nice then from four billies we trace all the way down to two dollars and 24 cents okay we had the second leg up status all the way to 957 almost double digits okay then we retrace massively back down to the mean here to five dollars okay okay then now we're on our third leg up status into officially the double digi range guys as we can clearly see here look consistent sales at 16 dollars single digi listings here insanity insanity what's going on in the markets right now one page only as we can see here look at that one page only it's 1750s but for the place but after that it's 20 dollars, and after that gone mr clean is in the building this buyout is, is insane here single digit listings look at this parabolic advanced move love the curvature love the retracements that's healthy within a parabolic advanced move you want to see retracements back down to the mean healthy price action insane going parabolic me just me i'd be selling into this third leg up that's just me you can sell this any anywhere between 17 to 20s that's just what i'd be doing especially it all depends on entry price obviously if you were buying down here take profits of the up here no need to wait to sit around um, you take profits when the markets give it to you that's what i'd be doing selling this card is a matter of time before it gets reprinted um i don't know why it didn't get reprinted i don't think it battles a legend uh, um you know terminal revenge but oh well it is what it is um and uh people need it man ritual beast people don't care man if, if a card uh you know um isn't the uh, you know ritual beast oh they're gonna take over the meta or not people don't care they just there's a lot of cash a lot of ritual beasts players out there in communities that want access to these cards and you can see the pumps here you know uh, being displayed here on the markets guys and we have spiritual beast canahawk guys as we can see from the secret forces another super rare uh single print card look you still be shekels shekels under ability boom going parabolic right here um after shipping is still over twos you see a lot of one of a place that's at threes already here in an all nine so again going from shekels to three dollars single digit listings guys one page only again mr clean is coming back he's coming back he's back at it you guys already know cleaning out the markets here single digit listings one single page a lot of one of you do have a place at an r09 after that the card is gone guys so definitely one to keep on your radar so here we have sky striker ace azalea guys again from battles of legend monsters revenge now with terminal revenge coming around essentially this card becomes a year old and we told you guys we told you guys guys when this was 14s the other day when we had this retracement back down to the mean of 14 15s but like guys this is great this is great it's just a healthy retracement back down to the mean going from 13s to 17s back down to 15s we told you it'll be most likely a 20 billy card and now guys here we see again 28 listings here 18 dollars but that's a couple after that is officially a 20 dollar card three pages only 28 listings guys the only reason the only thing we were waiting for is to see if this got an ultra rare or secret rare but most likely if it would have had one it would have been an ultra rare reprint in terminal revenge and guess what it didn't it didn't i'm surprised that this card is still in the teens i'm surprised this hasn't pumped up into the 20s guys i don't know why honestly listings are getting lower people are coming in don't get it twisted guys this card is broken sky uh, sky striker support just around the corner with temperaments is it temperance temperaments temperance man i'm bad with names that 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 one we discussed yesterday is essentially just around the corner you want to make sure that you're early not late to the party this card i don't get it how it still hasn't pumped up yet it doesn't even have a qcsr this is literally the single print of this card guys 
and I don't know when it'll get reprinted. If it, I don't know why they didn't, didn't put any like reprints, any Sky Striker cards in, um, you know, and what I mean, any, of course, you have the QCSR Rays and, and Rose and you have Temper Temperance or whatever and this and that and the other. But still, like, I thought we were going to get, you know, engages, maybe this card and, you know, a couple of cards that we're going to be discussing right now. But we didn't, guys. This is a deal, a deal and steal right here, right now. In my humble opinion, I expect this to be 25 soons and eventually even 30s. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. But that's, you know, the, the projection here, just based on the chart. The chart looks healthy here, just making new local highs. The trend is your friend until the end, and the trend is strong right now. You want to stay, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, keep this card in mind. Then we have Mobilize Engage. Sky Striker Mobilize Engage, the alternate art. You know, another one that went to double digits, guys. From three, It went up 3x, essentially. After this, you're going to get a massive retracement back down to the mean. Just people taking profits. That's healthy. You see the small curvature here. If you go to the monthly chart, look, here it is. From 475s to 523s, you see this as small, but this is the beginning. When a trend starts, you need the first pump off the lows. You know what I mean? And honestly, I expect this card to revisit the highs. 750s is the conservative target. 10s is that high-end target there. Double digits once again. And that's just an easy 2x. Easy 2x from current prices. That's coming, guys. F guys, 57 listings. People need their engages. Sure, some people are like, oh, I prefer the OG print. Good for you. But the alternate art. We know it. It looks fresh off the press, just like the channel. And I expect the secret rare from Monsters Revenge to pump up and give that 2x from current prices. So if you want, hey, get on the train, man. It's leaving the station. You don't want to be late. You want to be early for this card. People are going to need it. It looks fresh off the press, just like the channel. And I can't believe this card is a year old already. It feels like yesterday this card was coming out. That's insane, man. Time is passing by too fast. Then we have... Sky Striker Mobilized Linkage, another one. Another one that didn't get reprinted in Terminal Revenge. Why? Why? You see the spike from three billies to fours immediately. Why? There's people coming in. They're like, bro, I can't get this in Terminal Revenge. I need it. A lot of one ofs here. If you want multiples, what? Maybe at fours. But if you want to place it, you need to pay $5. That's where the ones are at. That's the premium you need to pay. Um, as you can see here, 59 listings. But again, people, the demand is coming in. Look at these. The sales are starting to ramp up. You want to be early. You don't want to wait. Ah, I'll get this late. I don't know if I need it. Just, hey, look at that. At three, four dollars under. If you can get this at under fives, that's good. I, I could see this ultra rare single print be double digits before it gets reprinted. Um, Just because uh, people need it now. They want the new supporters coming out. People will be getting ready. This Mamma card from Magnificent Mavens. Um, It's hard to get. You might see it cheap here, but this set, you know, cards from here, these ultras are very are together we have sky striker maneuver afterburners from battles of legend chapter one <clears throat> we see here the ultra rare we told you guys when this card was shekels to pick this card up and look look at that essentially that's just a one of this card now is a dollar fifty that's where you see the walls right now and then eventually 175s and then twos five pages only 42 listings this is just easy money man that's what we do here we we love our penny stocks we told you guys literally we we've talked about battles of legend chapter one when they came out and just endlessly endlessly just video after video after video talking about these penny stocks and you might think jay you know if we do a video today and then two three days later we talk about the same set again is because i love emphasizing the importance of investing into cars like these we literally said and i could do a fresh off the flashback on that i should have done it we literally say said guys the guy striker support is coming man it's too easy buy this card we compared the versions and we saw that there wasn't many versions we did get a silver as well but look there's only four versions plus the silver only five prints of this card they're all holographic i mean look at the secret is tens man this these cards used to be money this one before um um uh before these you know uh, before this reprint the one we're discussing today these these used to be um money man multiple billies and and this, we told you guys, gonna man, like people, yo, if you play Sky Strikers, you need this card. This card is broken. Beautiful artwork. It's too easy. And look, the chart saying it was 75 cents. Shekels literally doubling up in price. 100% uh, ROI. I'm glad I have this card. Um, I have multiples of these card uh, cards because I bought them. They were too cheap, man. Look, this is the 2X V-shaped recovery right there, as you can see. Literally, and this is just the beginning. This will be two to threes before you know it. 
You know what I mean? Look, people coming in in droves, getting their, their, their this card. They need it. And this is one of the cheapest versions. It's an Ultra Rare. It's clean, mid-max rarity. Of course, you also do have the silvers um, as well. Keep that in mind. I also have the silver here. Um, and look, this is cheap, man. This is still cheap. Card was 30 cents, though. Jesus Christ, 30 cents. And if we clean this up here real quick, you do see a lot of one -offs. Don't get it twisted. Play sets are 50 cents. Okay, so this is 50. This is good, man. This is good. This one can easily double up to a Billy. Easily. Easily double up to a Billy. Don't take these cheap prices for granted today so that you don't have any regrets tomorrow, guys. We have Sprite Carrot. This one spiking up. Again, used from 20 cents to 23 cents going parabolic, guys. Um, yeah, you do have here um, a couple of these um, under quarters. But, you know, this is a one to pick up. As more people pick up the new Sprite cards, people want to come back and play Sprite. So they're going to be like, man, I need carrots. They're going to come and they're going to want to get the max rarity version of it so this is an easy double up from here easy 40 to 50 cents that's coming soon um so it, and then eventually maybe even a dollar if the hype is enough so yeah you do see we do have a lot of listings guys but just get exposure it doesn't hurt it does not hurt <clears throat> excuse me i kept mine you know from from, uh, from my uh sprite deck for i kept these because they were cheap and i'm glad that i already have access to these because again people coming in in droves they want to start picking up the cards that they need so that when they pick up the new sprite cards they have the rest of the deck core ready you want to be early this this is cheap this is cheap you can get exposure to this card don't sleep on that one we have totally awesome guys totally awesome skip the rarity collection too and now it's pumping up in price this was two billies the other day boom spiking up guys insane you have one here at fours but it's a five dollar ultra rare here as you can see, that's where the walls of China are at. Literally at $5, 19 listings only, only two pages. After this wall, the card gets extremely hard to get. It's totally awesome, guys. The card is broken. And look, people need it, man. People getting ready. A lot of aqua water support later on this year. And totally awesome is just totally awesome, honestly. It's a it's an Omni Negate. It's such a broken, broken card. And it has been. It's cycled in and out of, the, of multiple Yu-Gi-Oh formats of multiple meta formats in the past. And this is a $5 Ultra for Mamma. Mamma continues to give, man. Honestly, this set. Why? I mean, look, look, even the, the lower. Look at that. This where's the rare. The rare is pushing up as well. I can't believe this card only has four prints. I can't believe this card was in the in the rarity collection, too. Or one for that man. I can't believe this doesn't have a QCSR. It doesn't have, you know, uh, the, look, four prints. Insane. Look at this. $2.35 parabolic. The rare. The rare toad. <clears throat> Look at that. It's pushing $5 as well. And this one doesn't have walls like at five bucks. No, it quickly goes up to sevens. Three pages only, 29 listings. Literally going parabolic, guys. Look at that. Three pages only. Could easily get cleaned out. And it's just crazy to me. Crazy. It's such an iconic card. I mean, this is coming in rarity. We're, we're getting a rarity collection through. We need to. Because there's no way no way that and i don't i don't understand man honestly and the look we have this unlim here at tens but after that it's a 15 billy card across the board and eventually 20s this card has always cycled in and out of the meta when it cycles in it always goes from teens 20s to 40s and 50s just gets bought out because it's the max rarity extremely hard to get this card the toad you know his mate is definitely making moves on the markers then we have pure lily here um yeah 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 25 dollars 26 is here look at that this card continues to hover there um but it, it quickly guys we talked about it the other day look at that people coming in and getting multiples guys so yeah you see a lot of one ups play sets are already at 30s just wanted to give you guys that update after that play set is essentially a 40 dollar card for an additional play set insane insane what's going on with this card almost single digit listings continues to get harder and harder to get people want a People want the max rarity blink. You know what I mean? We have Soul Servant here. Guys, this DM card used to be $10. No more. Bumping up to 15, 16s, guys. Insanity. What's going on with this secret rare? That used to be just five, six billies the other day. No one cared. Parabolic advanced move. Insanity. Essentially, almost 3Xing in price. And a lot of one-ups. If you want multiples, it's a $20 card. Bro, I think I have these. I think I have these, man. I have these. Do I? I have these man you see i told you, i have it in my in my sealed packs most likely you guys are gonna make me look for this car because this car is pumping up strong so your boy your boy needs to 
Why only have two, man? What's going on? Where's the, I swear I could have had a place at, man. There you go, man. You can't make this stuff up, man. Man, this thing is too easy. Look at that. It's too easy. Man, it, it is. It is. Hey, look, look at this stack, man. Look at this. Hey, it's, it, hey keep them sealed, okay? Okay? You got to keep them sealed just like this, and then you're going to put a rubber band around it, okay? That's how you store cards, guys. I, I'm good at market watching, not storing cards. So for that, follow Sage. That's my guy. That is my guy. Look at that. Stack of seal. Why? Because it's too easy. Look at this. Look at this. I love this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This card looks fresh. <laughs> my bad. Oh my lord. Lord, look at that beautiful card, man. Look at that. Look at man. This card looks fresh off the pack. Literally right there. Mm 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 mm. 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 Look at that. I could come in here and list a place at right under this dude. And I get half the taxes and maybe a $50 bill. I put in $5 a pop. $5, man. 15 become 50s. I like it. I like that change. I like that conversion, man. I just do. I just do. It's too easy. We've talked about this card in the past when no one else did. From Legendary Duelist Season 3, Secret Rare. It, Dark Magicians, man. Massive Yu-Gi-Oh community, and this card looks, bro, it's beautiful. Only two prints, man. Who knows when the third is coming? And uh, this card is making moves, so uh, if you need it, you're going to have to pay a premium, or you're going to have to talk with your boy Jay, you know, maybe hook you up with a deal. But uh, same for the Dark Magician. Same for the, the beautiful, iconic card. Look at that. Look, it broke the chart. It broke the chart. From $10, same deal. <clears throat> Look at that. Going up $5 a pop, 19 listings. This one has more Wands of China here. At around 15 16 but two pages only guys dm cards are making moves in the markets you know now with the rarity collection and terminal revenge people again if they're, they, they're getting their mahias paying qcsr prices or whatever you know they want their dm cards now they want them and the demand is going bonkers and look i found one just one man. i wish i had a uh, you know a place it so but again i got this one for five dollars man i look at this card and I kind of, I don't want to sell it, man. It's too beautiful. It's too beautiful. Just the artwork. Can't believe that card was $5 at one point, man. What were we thinking? What were we thinking? I don't know. I don't know. But it's 15 to 16 now. And these cards are getting cleaned out, boys. Man, what do we have? We have branded opening, guys. Excuse me, branded opening. This card, I remember. These walls of China were at over a 1,000 copies um, for the Prismatic Secret Max Rarity. And look, it's bumping up already. And you have a couple of one ofs here, but you have a couple of walls here. But the true wall is at 550 here. And people coming in, people coming in, they're going to be devouring this card. Why? Because Branded continues to get their pieces rarity bump. And the people are going to be coming here to get the max rarity version of Branded opening. A broken card always has been used in the deck. It's just too good. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We told you guys to keep this one on your radar. And, and as of yet, still at great prices. So if you can come in here. You know, look at that. Shout out to Sage with the deal. That is my guy. Sage, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. A hundo. A hundo percent, guys. You Look at that. Over 500 sales. That is my guy. Look. Look. Amazing comments. We found you, Sage. I see you, brother. I see you. No. Hey, hey, hey. Look, giving them deals. Look at that, man. Sage giving them deals right there. He probably picked that up from what? Not like at a dollar. At a billy. You know, and he's plusing. And he deserves that because he puts in the time and the work. Um, so, yeah, that's my guy, Sage. Make sure you, hey, check the shop, the shop right there, man. Great prices. But, yeah, this card, people need it. This wall is massive. When well, you have the masses coming in, thousands of players wanting to play branded, this will be gone, and the card shall appreciate in price. And we have I'll be on the Sanctifier Dragon. Don't forget about this card from Sayak. Yeah, should it, would it probably get a reprint in the tin? Sure. You know, but it's a card. Again, look, $45 post ban list, dumping down 50% half off discount. So again, if there was ever a time that you needed this card, now is the time to pick it up in my humble opinion. It skipped, you know, the reprint potential in Terminal Revenge. So now this one, you have a walls here, but this could quickly turn back up as people come in and get this card because now they have the rest of the pieces they need for branded. And again, the Secret Rare single print from Sayak. Does it have a QCSR? I'm not sure. The whole point is... <clears throat> excuse me guys that um you want to get access to this card you don't want to be that guy seeing this 50 percent down let this curve 
and come up and retest the higher prices on this chart. You know, you want to come in and get what you need with regards to this now. Same as, as, same as Chimera, the King of Phantom Beast did not get reprinted um, in Terminal Revenge. So again, this is one expected to come in this year's tins. The same deal. Look at that. We had a massive spike. Retrace it back down to the mean. People didn't know if it was coming in Terminal Revenge, but now we know. Now we know. So if you need this card, now is the time before we break this pivot high and head towards the previous all-time highs on this card as we head into that season. You, look at that. $12, 13 that's not bad. That is not bad. Quickly becomes a $15 card, four pages only, 40 listings here. Again, you want to make sure that you find yourself, find yourself on the early side, not on the late side. We have Wake Up Your Elemental Hero, another one that I thought could get reprinted in Terminal Revenge. No, no, this card continues to push 28 to 30s. Insane. This was a $6 card at one point. 16 listings, two pages. I don't know how this thing is up here. This thing is, is becoming ridiculous, guys, honestly. It is a 30. Look at that. We have hero players coming in. I'm, I, I don't understand, bro. This is mind-boggling. Paying $35 for this card that used to be single digits last year. Insane. Wow. I mean, we've always, we always talked about this card and the potential that it had for the hero community. And here it is, man. This needs to be in this year's tins as a prismatic. Please, Konami. Rarity bump this. Um, or at least this version. Because we we got the what? Is it the CR or something? Let me see. Or the, the I, mean, I know we have the alternative. Yeah, the CR here. Look at that. Crazy. The CR is $50. The CR the other day was what? 40s? Let's see. Let's see. This thing was 37s, man. And there's people buying the ultras for those prices. Honestly, if you need this card or want it, even though I would just wait for the reprint, but if you need it now, get the CR, man. Under 50s, get this, get the CRs. No need to pay um $35, 30 to $35 for um the ultra rare print. I, I don't get it. These buyouts are insane. We have Tomeos the United Dragon. Um, just wanted to highlight that the OG print, even though it's a lesser rarity, one pair of bottles. This thing was a Billy. And now it's insane. Insane. Look at that. We have 60 listings only. A lot of one ofs. You want multiples? Yeah, you want multiples? $5. Over $5 for multiples for this card. Um, you know what I mean? Just look at that. Getting sales up here. Going parabolic. Just people coming in for their Dark Magician cards, guys. They're coming in for their Dark Magician cards. But that's good. You still have this one in the Shekel territory. The technical max rarity prismatic secret here. You can see. Look. 70 cents. Beautiful. You have walls here, multiple walls. Don't get it twisted. With the demand, look, there's people coming in and buying multiples, guys. With the demand out there right now for the OG print, it'll just translate over to this one eventually. Eight pages. You have massive walls near the Billy Mark. We get it. We get it. 77 listings, but this is for the long term. You come in now at Shackles. Patience wins this game. You put this card away. <clears throat> you come back one day, and you can't believe its price pushing threes fours and fives that's what's expected for this i've seen it happen in the past people don't play around with the dark magician with the dark magician cards you know the dm community and this is told you guys the tins continue to give value don't listen to the noise oh the tin sucks man you know there, there's nothing in there and uh there's no way to make money on those and there's this yeah maybe if you buy cases or sealed or whatever i don't know about none of that i focus on singles you can buy singles today for shekels and sell for billies tomorrow to me that's value that's value i don't know the definition of value for others, but to me, that's value. If I can buy a card at 75 cents, send it at a Billy 50, and you know, maybe in person or cash or whatever, then that's 2x clean profit. Clean profit. You sell through TCG player, you wait until it's a Billy 75, and you sell you, those that quarter covers the fees or whatever, or this or that, or if you sell at twos, you still can 2x easily, easily, easily a card like this. And to me, that's value. Because anywhere in the world where you can double up your money, that's just straight value as easy as that we have master of chaos another one from the tins another one was a billy the other day pushing up to billy 37s wow wow guys so that's up 33 percent from these current pivot lows here and uh yeah you do have a 10 bagger here and you have you know this that and the other and r9 but eventually this will be a two dollar card for the max rarity version of master of chaos you do have the og ultras here the og ultras let's see making moves oh they're still around a billy so that is not that bad, honestly. Um, I would just get the technical max rarity. Prismatic Secret looks beautiful from the tins. People coming for the Dark Magician cards 
So you want to be early, even as an investor, even if you don't play DM or whatever, it's good to start getting exposure to these cards because I expect these to continue to go up. Then we have White Dustin. White Dustin, the card of the moment, guys. Like from Legacy of the Valley. Guys, this is Fiend. This is a Fiend monster. This little white fiend is one of the Dustins. He's amazed at how white he looks <laughs> despite being covered in dust. You, you can't make this stuff up. I don't know why, if it's a meme or maybe this card actually is used as a level one or something. But this was 57 cents. 57 shekels, man. And this thing pumped up to $5, man. Look at that. $3 here. We're tracing back down to the meme, but there was sales at five billies, man. Like, how? Why? Why, what is going on? What is going on? What, look at all these sales at these price. It makes me think like there's something to this. Maybe there's look four dollars here. That maybe there's something to this that I'm not aware of. For this bonkers demand here, 25 listings, three pages. I don't understand, man. I mean, I, I don't get it, bro. I mean, hey, hey, you know, is this is this vanilla being played in um in uh you know with with Fiend Smith? I, I don't know, man. I mean, that's the only connection I can make, man. <laughs> white dustin let's go this is billy bob he has a binder full of these so at least he's profiting today <laughs> you know what I mean? oh boy then we have despian quarter man i'm bad with names guys look billy to threes the 340s 350s that's three 3.5 x yeah you got a couple of one ofs here but look if you want multiples is already at twos if you want a play set you need to pay 250s to threes soon so again again Branded cards. Branded cards from Dawn and Majesty, Ultra Rare First Ed, your OG print, just moving on up. You do have the Prismatic reprint. I'm um, still cheap. But um Yeah, people some people just like the OG, man. The OG feel to this. But look at that. Spiking up. Used to be 40 cents. Getting some sales. Wait, that, that was what? 33 cents. Getting some sales at the 54 cent level already. You do have the new mess of wall of China here coming in, you know, at 38 cents. And you have another wall here. Yeah, but again, these walls, when people start going for the OG print like that, you know, some people want the technical max rarity and this card from the 2022 tins could definitely uh, be a Billy down the line. You're already starting to see the, the parabolic advanced move. That's the sign that you want for a card like this. We have the ultimate creature of destruction. Guys, don't forget, as we continue to get Dark Magician and Blue Eye support, um, hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. The ultimate creatures, legendary duelist uh, season ones, twos, and threes continue to give back we discuss uh these cards from season three you know as well as season two continues to look at that going from four dollars and 73 cents to almost six billies but look at that you got a, the wall there seven but after that it, it becomes seven billies a lot of one ofs then nines two pages only 12 listings for the max rarity version of this card that could eventually be double digits this trap the card looks amazing insane that this card is this valuable um people coming in the demand look billy bob's already buying at 12 billy so you already know you already know this card continues to make moves in the markets then we have trap trick so from soul fusion you're like jay it's 13 dollars. that's cheap and look it, yeah but it used to be sevens and even on top of that look after a couple of you know there's one of in a play set here this card is 20 dollars a pop one page only single digit listings this card continues to be bought out cleaned out for the um secret rare from soul fusion don't forget, is this, does this get a CR or something? Let me see. This card is, yeah, is, the good thing is that you can get this card for super cheap. But again, uh, let me see. Where's the, yeah, the CR here. Let's see, look at that. It used to be $20. Insane. And now it's pumping up. Excuse me, guys. Hey, two pages only, pumping up to 40s and quickly 50s, guys, where you see multiple plays. That's given that 2.5x return. Insanity the max rarity version of this card um it's beautiful man and people need it people need it card is just too good it is too good of a card but again again if you need access to the card no worries you have you know just essentially budget options here uh, with rares and and look even the, the super rares under billy um so yeah 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 you got options but uh and hey what do you think are expensive one shot products worth it uh shout out to esteban he probably has all of these <laughs> yeah that's my guy hey we have elemental hero liquid soldier again from legendary duelist season three um this one damn i don't think i have sealed uh, i should have but guys this one continues its uptrend uh here towards the double digi range and uh yeah so getting sales at almost 11 billies right there look at that look at that billy bobs buying this card at 1292s double digis why not i mean the card is still eight billies and you do have a massive wall of china here 22 listings but 
Billy Bob's don't care. They're buying the teens. You guys already know. They're buying from up here, from the walls of China. But only three pages only. And don't forget, before this reprint, this card used to be so, so expensive, guys. This one, the OG version used to be just so much money um, in the past. And this one, look, used to be six billies. Now it's starting to go parabolic. Wow. Wow, look at that. One page only, seven listings, guys. After a couple, look, just one of us in the markets. Ridiculous prices for, the, you know, this card. So, guys, these buyouts are insane. Hero, hero community don't play. And you don't want to play as well. You want to get access early to most of these cards compared to what their future prices can be. Guys, don't forget, we have a live stream this Friday around 10, 11 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss, you know, come check us out. Don't miss it. We always have fun with that. And uh, guys, the channel continues to grow and it's all thanks to you guys, man, on our way to 5K. Can't wait to give back. I'm super stoked and excited. Guys, thank you so much for your time, for your support, and for your attention. Stay fresh.